Welcome, welcome, everybody. We are here. We are checking out this indie world this morning. I'm so excited. It has been a while since I watched one of these, and uh, I started a little late here, but <laughs> let's hope it all works. All right. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I've got everything set up on the stream here properly. Yeah, we're looking good. Okay. What was that? Oh, I'm just prepping for our first segment. Uh huh. Well then, let's get going. No captions available. All right. You ready to get started? Yep. Okay. What do we got? Um, Pip, you have a filter on. What? I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Let's go. Hi, I'm Matt director and lead developer on Little Kitty Big City. I'm Micah, the animator. And I'm Pip, the narrative designer. Little Kitty Big City is a game about exploring a weird and wonderful- I've said it before, but there's just so many, so many cat games coming out all the time. <laughs> and it's grown a lot since then, but the core is still the same. It's a game about being a little cat. A little cat in a world filled with exciting distractions. Made by people who love distractions and cats. We hope you love Kitty as much as we do. I think we nailed it. Yeah, and I think I've worked out the filter thing. Look. Not again. <laughs> you are a curious little oh. kitty. Let you me know if the audio sounds good. I don't know if my audio is too loud, if the game spot. audio, like the video audio is loud enough. Lost. It's always hard when you're doing a reaction to a YouTube stream because you don't know how loud it's going to be. You'll navigate a vibrant city to find your way home. And there's plenty to do along I've the seen way. this game before multiple times. I just don't have an interest in it, especially since, you know, this stream is specifically looking for couch co-op games. But, you know, there's something for everybody here. <laughs> Honestly, this might be a game that Carla would enjoy. I don't know. I'd have to ask her, see if she's interested in it. Knock things over, you know, normal cat stuff. Oh, we didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty hats. Let me know like what you guys think of, shark, of this game, money. Little Kitty Big City. You Isn't this game out already? I may have talked over it. <laughs> missed if it's actually out and available. So let me know it's if you know that. But also let me know if you're interested in the Little Kitty Big City. Get ready to dig your claws in. When the little poor little kitty bird. Big City pounces onto Nintendo <laughs> I don't know, Switch, that made me kind of sad. I don't, I don't want to see a little cat get a little bird. E Pre-orders begin today, so it's not out yet. I just feel like I've been seeing it forever. You ever get that feeling? Like you're meant for something more? That's been kind of my deal since forever. But now? This looks cute. Something's changed. You got some sort of 2D platformer. Ready to break out? Needs to be stopped. And I'm the one now I think one of those games, River City Girls, was a multiplayer game, so Probably. we might have a little bit of luck here. Years Rising, Yars, hey Yars Rising. Emi Kimura here, A.K.A. Yar. If you want to use my handle, which you totally should, join me on a high-stakes sci-fi action adventure in Yars Rising, the newest game from Way Forward and Atari. What started as your typical hacker for hire gig spirals into a weird intergalactic conspiracy involving mega conglomerate Kotech. Help me run, jump, hack, and blast my way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire and Yars Rising. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system later this year. 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 Sorry. I, mean, year. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Yar thing. So it doesn't look like co op for sure, but it does look fun. I, I am kind of interested. I recently picked up the demo of um, Prince of Persia right before it released, and I had a lot of fun with that. So I'm like a lot more into 2D side scrolling games right now. Who has since passed away. Every action you take and decision you make during your journey reveals a little more about who you are. And there are no right or wrong choices. Travel to places from your memories, interact with other characters, and gradually piece together the future the doctor envisioned for you. At the end of your journey, your personality type will be revealed. With 23 personality types to discover, you can make different choices in each playthrough and see where they lead you. Will you end up as a proactive leader 
What about a wise sage? <laughs> okay, Perhaps I have zero interest in this game. I am like, you're curious about the personality types of other like, players. Is this supposed to be some sort of personality test, or is it like just part of the game to see what kind of fun, different, weird personalities you can get? I have no clue what's going on here. Find out who you are in Refined Self, the personality test game. Okay. Launching as a timed console <laughs> exclusive on Nintendo Switch this summer. Interesting. We can now start figuring out our own personality Hi, traits in video games. games. The developers of Sticky Business. We drew our inspirations from the small businesses and creators we saw popping up on social media. It's been so inspiring to see all those fantastic artists create cute stickers, assemble beautiful packages, and learn about their customers' wholesome stories. So we wanted to make a game where you can experience exactly that for yourself. It was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks, but then so many people liked the concept that we kept working on it. We're excited for you to play on Nintendo Switch. I'm glad we're sticking around for the cozy sim, Sticky Business. Okay, it's this is, I've seen this before as well. This is something that Carly would probably have a ton of fun with. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know how much you'd want to do it on the Switch. I feel like this might be like a better there game for like PC or something for somebody to play. I don't know if it is available on PC. But these ones where you have to kind of use like a cursor type thing, I found just work so much better on like a PC. There's plenty more. And you can add effects like glitter and sparkles. So combine whatever elements and effects you want to design your artistic adhesives. But no shop is complete without its customers. Each one will ask for different stickers, and by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, but you'll also learn more yeah, about their lives. Yeah, this is definitely up music teacher, my wife's alley. To <laughs> she would love to, to play this game. Wants to cheer up his grieving child. Each customer has a heartfelt story It's so to funny, share. like, I come through here, I'm looking for co-op games, and a lot of the times I find games that I'm like, ooh, Carly would probably enjoy playing that one. And I see games that I would enjoy playing, but there's not always a lot of co-op games in them, unfortunately. Get ready to build the cutest shop ever. In Sticky Business, both the game and DLC launch as time consoles. Ooh, later today. And they're time consoles, so it's not on PC, which is good to know. Also be available later today. If you're looking for explosive, calming, or mysterious journeys, we've got yes. you covered with this trio of upcoming indie games. All of them. Check them out. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Ah, that does it. I'm gonna find out who did this and blast them into teeny tiny little pieces. Have a blast in Anton Blast. The devil himself stole your prized spirit collection, and you're on a rampage to get it back. Wield the mighty hammer as dynamite. I think Anton my son would love seeing us play this game. <laughs> or the massive mace as dynamite Anton I think for me, the art style. <sighs> It's just a little too rough for me. That's not to say it's like bad. Like I feel like there's definitely people that would enjoy this. But just for me. That's a fun idea. Another timed console exclusive. A demo will be available later today on Nintendo. Oh, and there's a demo. I love free demos. Free demos are the best. First person adventure awaits in Valley Peaks. Okay, this is not going to be co-op as well. First person. The peaks you'll climb, glide, and even use your tongue to scale the mountain. Use your tongue. Did it say you are? You've got to be a person. How are you? What are you? Lizard person? The trek to the summits won't be easy. If you need a hiking hiatus, I've seen a couple of to do. climbing games like this popping up recently. I'm trying to think. I can't think what they were called. But I've seen a couple of these. They seem to be getting more popular. Make climbing easier. Or kick back and relax with mini games. Plan your so you're a frog person. When it leaps, I wonder if it said that at the beginning and I just missed it. Year.
so I don't know if I can... <sighs> black and white games are rough for me. We played Blanc, which was black and white, but not like this darkish black and white. Now, obviously, this is some sort of mystery puzzle game, which I love puzzle games. I don't necessarily love the mystery part of most uh, of games like these. I'm not a big mystery-ish person, so definitely more of that puzzle game, not necessarily black and white. I feel like I just have trouble distinguishing things when it's black and white. Of course, they've got like the colors set off against it. Like they've got all that red, which definitely helps set things apart Hi, and mark Pinto, important things. Of Europa. Six years or so ago, I started working on the game in my spare time. And since then, it blossomed with the help of an amazing collective of friends, all bringing their piece of magic. It all started with the idea of using watercolor art style to evoke peaceful and zen vibes. I wanted it to be a meditative experience and to tell a beautiful story through gameplay that's able to put the player in a state of flow. I really hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here and I cannot wait to show it to you. Thank you so much. Now I love this art style, it looks fantastic. Oh. They got like big giants. They got, uh, if you what, me, what's that movie called? Was the life that was within. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. This isn't normally my type of game, but I could see myself picking this up. It looks like such a cute fun calming adventure oh did you see that launch oh goodness guys i'm in love this is not a co-op game it's not what i came here to find but oh man i might have to pick this one up europa i think it said it was called i've got some nintendo switch gift cards sitting aside ready, ready to pick this one up if carly's down oftentimes Oftentimes we try to both pick try to pick up games that we're both interested in. And I think she would love this, and I think I would love this as well. Though I don't know because it's so cozy. And I I'd be missing the um the kind of danger part of it. That's what I'm worried about with it. Because the teenage mutant ninja turtles are back. This is multiplayer for sure. In their Splintered fate. Radical roguelike adventure. Leonardo, Raphael, okay, Donatello, so we've got a roguelike. Did it say roguelike or roguelite? Portals to rescue their kidnapped master, Splinter. We'll be picking this one up for sure. <laughs> roguelikes are not our favorite games, so we'll have to see how this works out. But we have found a multiplayer game. I don't know if this is the first time this has been announced, but it's the first time I've heard about it. So we found one. We can we can say we have found one multiplayer game here. Yeah, it looks like a very standard roguelite, just themed with the Ninja Turtles. Customization options await back at your sewer home, where you can spend in-game currency you earned on your runs on okay. permanent Okay, so roguelike. Not, no, it's sorry, roguelite, not roguelike, for sure. If we've got style. those, like, permanent Enjoy upgrades. <clears throat> solo or jump online with up to three online? Buds in co -op play. Your team of Are you telling me this doesn't have couch co-op? That's, no. <laughs> That's not cool. I wonder if the levels are just too big and spread out. Oh, July. That's frustrating that that's not... It, it said online, so I don't know if, if that means there is no couch co-op. We'll have to see. Cat Quest 3! This one is probably co-op. Um, number 2 was, number 1 wasn't. But I think I was looking at it and it was saying it was co-op on the Steam page. I'm excited for this one because we did pick up Cat Quest 2 and we we're having so much fun. We like dropped out of it for a little bit, but 
planning on getting back and and having a ton of fun and definitely picking this one up when it comes out because I'm so excited. I love this little, I love all the cat memes. Carly loves all the cat memes, the puns and whatnot. And it was just a fun little adventure to upgrade, level up and, and all that kind of stuff. So we are gonna pick it up for sure. Get to explore the seas in this one, which is the big difference. Which I don't know if you can do that very well in co-op, so we'll see. Hopefully they show some sort of co-op footage here so we can like confirm that it's co-op. Yeah, play with a matey in local co-op. Fantastic. Yeah, this one is like 100% guaranteed we're gonna be picking it up. And I'm so excited to see more footage because the last time I saw this, they might have released something else. But the last time I saw this, there was very little gameplay footage. So, definitely excited for this one. Cat Quest 3. Something about the Peribian. Pre-order and demo available later today on Nintendo Switch eShop. Oh, we might have to play the demo. Studio After Director. And this is my amazing wife and artist, Ying. Hi there. We are part of the creative team behind Stitch, a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. It is such a blast for us to merge our shared passion for art and craft into our game as we design a pattern called Hook. Together, we have designed over 180 hooks for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after the game has launched. Our patterns are fusion of personal experience and the community's idea. The Penguin mascot is a gamified avatar of our producer, Tanin. Some content <laughs> category, like mystical creature, for example, originated from our players. We hope you will enjoy the game and happy, happy stitching. stitching. So, so Carly loves doing cross stitch. I don't know if that's like what this is and how that works. Here's the nitty gritty on this cozy game. You'll complete puzzles called hoops to bring stunning embroidery patterns to life. Stitch together groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid while avoiding any overlaps. Figuring out exactly where to stitch is key to completing the hoop. From roller skates That's and interesting. Teddy bears interesting to like real life locations, there that are you have to avoid stuff for you to needle and noodle over. I just don't think I would get it. Different sizes. But like I said, Carly loves cross stitch. She'd probably enjoy this little puzzle of trying to figure out what order to do things in. Complete hoops in whatever order you'd like. No matter which hoop you choose, each one has the potential to offer a relaxing and calming experience that you can also enjoy with touch controls in handheld mode. Ooh, After completing a hoop, you can that's play nice. it again in free stitch mode and recolor it to your liking. If a hoop seems too tough, don't worry. A handy hint feature can be used at any time. You can also tailor your experience with various accessibility settings. Colorblind mode. Of a challenge? Try the limited time daily Shikaku puzzles. These ones don't offer any hints, so you'll really need to put your thinking cap on. Weekly hoops are also available. Each one is inspired by real life events and filled with trivia. So stitch away while learning a fun fact or two. Plus, once a <laughs> weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play whenever you'd like. Stitch launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Sometimes I wish Carly watched these things so that she could see these games. Go, I have to like figure out which ones I should try to show her. To All right, let's see. Bzzzt. Okay, looks, looks so low again. Fun little robot platformer with a spaceship. I haven't seen nothing about this game. This looks interesting. So you gotta like move around in shadows, which I've seen a game kind of like that before, but this one is interesting. Animal Well. Available May 9th. Ooh, he almost got eaten. Dark Detectives, The Secret Salami. Sorry, detective, not detectives. Not multiple, here I am trying to throw co-op into, <laughs> into everything. 
All right. Another crab's treasure. Everybody's talking about that one all the time. Look at that guy's abs. <laughs> Is that everything? We've got time for one last announcement. One thing. What do we got? What do we got? Steam. Take a look. Did Get I say it's called Steam? Steam, Steam World Heist 2. Steam World sequel. So I've heard the name, the but I have, of the world have turned deadly, no idea what it is. Limbs and mechanical hearts of its robotic denizens. Now, it's up to Looks you like to it could be multiplayer. And discover why this once I saw multiple characters. Has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of steam bots in tactical, okay, so turn-based shootouts in a Not going to be co-op. Their AI Point, seems like. Shoot and let those bullets bounce. This time around, or it's turn-based. I don't know. And engage in real-time naval combat. Equip your submarine with a variety of weapons and items, then line up your shot to blast baddies. You can even befriend steam bots along the way, recruit them to your cause, and embark on an epic voyage together. As you get to know more bots, I love you'll learn how the art style. Their lives. I don't Plus, I haven't particularly gained any interest in, in the game itself from watching this. Along with over 150 but like weapons, I said, I know the name, so it seems like this might be a very popular pieces, you can game. Strategically craft your crew to best fit the mission at hand. Your steambots jobs and abilities depend on their equipped <laughs> weapons and levels. Each different crewmate also has unique abilities that can be unlocked. Of course, you can also steal and wear your enemies' hats. So many hats. Take aim and so last many hats. to bits when Steam World Heist 2 ricochets onto Nintendo Switch August Okay. 8th. So what are you most excited about? If you're not in the stream right now, let That's me know in the, the comments down below. Hero. What like we hope you enjoy the What games from this are you excited to see? A big thank you as always to our indie community <laughs> and partners for bringing their experiences We found our singular co-op game in this is Cat Quest, which sadly is a game we already knew about. Um, then we've got TMNT, which seems like it's going to be online only, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm going to dig into that here, but we'll have to, we'll have to see. So... Yeah, I don't know. Excited for Cat Quest. That one game, Europa. Oh, man. What's going on here? Can I not? Can I not see more? Is it upset because it's not live anymore? What What on earth? Why, why can I not watch it? There we go. Okay. Um. Yes. Yeah, so... Europa, I think is what it was called. I was really excited for. Um, it's freaking out. It's freaking out. They must be doing something with it. Oh, I was just scooting back too early. That's what was going on. Here it is. This one. This one I was super excited for. It is not a co-op game. Um, but looks absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can. Come on. There it is. Yeah, this guy. Look at this. Look at this beautiful game here, everybody. Um, so this one, TMNT looked fun. If they add local co-op, that one is definitely going on our list. But as just a, an online one, we definitely wouldn't pick it up. Um, Cat Quest, like I said, absolutely. I think those are the ones specifically that I was interested in. Definitely excited for Cat Quest. Definitely excited for this game, which I need to figure out what it's called. Did it show a name at the beginning here? I think he like said it. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Nope, that's his name. I think he said it was called Europa. Let's see. We'll scroll back that far and hopefully we can find it. But otherwise, let me know what uh, from this indie showcase you were interested in. Is there anything like there was a lot of little puzzle games, a lot of, you know, teeny little interesting art style games, which is you expect to see from an indie world. There's it's not going to be everything is for one person um like it, there's gonna be games that people aren't interested in and there's a lot of games here that i wasn't interested in but there's a couple that i'm interested in so which is why like i normally enjoy watching these after the fact and just scrolling through really fast to see what kind of games i'm interested in. okay here th this game should be coming up so we can see what it's called 
creator of Europa. So yeah, Europa's on my list for sure. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys are interested in, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.